don't lose this opportunity to earn a guaranteed 9.62% annualized return for the next six months. You have until October 28th to take advantage of this high interest rate. You can invest up to 15,000 each year and the minimum investment is just $25. But make sure you're okay with your investment being locked in for one year. Let me tell you everything I know about I-bonds. Hi there, I'm Avanti. I'm a mom, an investment analyst, and a CFA charter holder. And I've helped dozens of women take control of their financial futures. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page to watch all my latest videos on building your own wealth through investing. I-bonds or CDs I-bonds are variable interest rate bonds issued by the government of the United States. They help protect you from inflation. The interest rate has two components, a fixed rate and a variable rate that changes every six months with inflation. When you buy an I-bond, you will know exactly what the fixed rate will be for your bond. This rate stays constant for 30 years after issue. The US Treasury announces this rate every May 1st and November 1st of each year and will apply the fixed rate to all bonds issued during the following six months. The variable rate is also set on the same dates and is based on the CPI or the Consumer Price Index, which measures inflation. This is how the I-bond interest rate is calculated. The composite rate is equal to the fixed rate plus two times the semi-annual inflation rate plus fixed rate times semi-annual inflation rate. For I-bonds issued from May through October of this year, the fixed rate is at 0% and the semi-annual inflation rate is at 4.81%. That makes the composite rate for an I-bond issued between May and October of 2022 equal 9.62%, which is twice of 4.81% since the fixed rate is at zero. A bond that was issued between May 1st, 2019 and October 31st of 2019 had a fixed rate of 0.5%. So that bond will have a composite interest rate of 10.14% based on the calculation of the composite rate. So the fixed rate of 0.5% plus the formula and that equals 10.14%. Now, when you buy an I bond today, or any time until the end of this month, you will get an annualized interest rate of 9.62% for the next six months, even though the treasury will reset its variable rate on November 1st. So let's say you buy I bonds worth $100 on October 21st. You will begin accruing interest from October 1st. The interest rate on this bond will be 9.62% for the next six months. That will translate to 100 multiplied by 9.62%, which is 0.0962 divided by two, because you are earning interest for the next six months and the rate quoted is an annualized rate. So you have to divide it by two. So that will make the interest dollar amount equal to $4.81. At the end of six months, which will be April 1st of next year, your bond value will be 100, which was your original bond value, plus the $4.81, which is the interest earned, making it a total of 104.81. On April 1st, your interest rate will be reset based on the new interest rate that will be set by the Treasury on November 1st of this year. Let's say this new rate is 8%. I don't know what the rate is going to be for the next six months. Your bond will earn this new interest rate, which is yet to be determined. And this is how you will calculate it. 104 times 8%, which is 0.08 divided by two, because again, it is for next six months that you will have this interest rate that will make it 
uh, your interest equal one uh, four point one nine two four. Adding this to your bond value, the new value becomes one hundred and nine dollars on October first of next year. Effectively, you will have earned an interest rate of nine percent for the whole year. But before I tell you more, if you like what you've heard so far, please smash the like button. You'll be doing me a big favor. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get access to all my latest videos. If you are watching me on Facebook, don't forget to follow my page. Please comment below what you would like to hear and what you like and what you would want to hear more about in my future videos. I've also linked my personal budgeting worksheet and my investment plan template to help you create your own investment plan and this video explains how you can go about creating your own investment plan. We have had a period of high inflation in the United States which makes series I bonds very attractive. Even more attractive than other asset classes typically believed to deliver higher returns. The biggest positive is the risk-free nature of I bonds. I bonds are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. Unless the US government defaults on its debt obligations, you are guaranteed to get your money back as promised. And if there is deflation, the bonds value won't decline. You still have to pay federal income taxes on I bond earnings unless you use the money for qualified higher education for your child, in which case you don't have to pay taxes on your earnings. And you have a choice. You can either report the interest each year when you file your federal taxes, even though you don't actually sell your bond and get this interest, or you can defer reporting this income until you actually get your interest when you redeem your bond. You don't have to pay state or local income taxes on earnings. So it's great for people who are in high tax states. California and New York, are you listening? The smallest amount you can buy in I bonds is $25 and the largest amount is $10,000 per year in electronic I bonds. And if you're expecting a tax refund, you can buy an additional $5,000 in paper I bonds with your tax refund. I discussed all the advantages with you. Let's now talk about the biggest disadvantage. The biggest disadvantage of a series I bond is that your money is locked for 12 months. You cannot redeem your bond for at least 12 months after purchase. And if you cash your bond in less than five years after buying it, you lose the last three months of interest. So if you hold your bond for 15 months, you will only earn interest for 12 months. You will lose the last three months of accruals. To buy an I bond, you need to create an account on treasurydirect.gov. If you don't have an account, click on create a new account. You will then need to choose the type of account you're opening, whether it's for an individual or an entity. So if it's just for you and your family, you would select individual. The application will ask for your information. So name, social security, number, address, bank details for electronic transfer, etc. Once you have an account set up, you can choose the type of bonds you wish to buy. In this case, I bonds. There is an option for EE bonds as well. And then you enter the amount that you want to buy. This can be anywhere from $25 to $10,000 rounded to the penny. There is a limit on how much you can buy each year in I bonds, but there is no limit on how much you can own. So for example, if you already have say $20,000 of I bonds in your treasury direct account, you can buy up to a total of additional $10,000 this year. And you can buy I bonds for your children or as gifts, and those purchases will not be applied towards your $10,000 limit. As with 
any kind of investment, I bonds need to be evaluated for their potential return periodically. Because inflation is so high, these bonds are very attractive today. If the inflation rate drops in the future, there may be other types of investments that may become more attractive. Also, don't put your emergency fund in I bonds because you will lose liquidity for at least one year after purchase. When I bought my first I bonds, I had my full emergency fund in a high yield savings account, which was very liquid. As time progressed, the 12 month limit on withdrawal expired. I reduced the amount in my high yield savings account and left a good amount of my emergency fund in I bonds. I expect high inflation to continue into Q2 of 2023, so I bonds will continue to remain attractive at least until then. But that's just my opinion. When November 1st rate is set, it will likely be lower than 9.62% rate that is available right now. So if you're thinking about buying I bonds, now is the time. Act fast. Don't wait till the October 28th deadline. You never know if there are any systems issues with account creation and so on. So that's all uh, I wanted to talk, tell you about I bonds. As always, don't forget to be happy, to be kind and to be your best self. Bye. If you are a stock market newbie, I recommend watching this video. I have an entire series on stock market for beginners that will help you.